Well, they don't call it paradise for no reason, right? That's right. More people heading to the beach as yeah. it gets hot. It's what we all love to do. Uh, but that also means higher odds of a shark encounter just off the beach across our state. The latest shark warning, by the way, honey, came at Juno Beach today when the area briefly had to be cleared. And WPTV's Todd Wilson with a closer look at the increase in shark encounters. Well, folks, we're moving quickly here at Juno Beach. That's because some uh, spinner sharks have been seen swimming close to shore. In fact, folks weren't allowed back in the water for about 20 minutes. Caden Ross says he's always out here at Juno Beach Pier fishing. Every day. He says there are so many sharks near the pier, it's hard to reel a fish in because they're stealing them. Sandbar sharks are the worst. You got bull sharks, black tips. Whether you're fishing or swimming in the ocean, you'll eventually come across a shark. Monday afternoon, spinner sharks were seen near the sandbar at Ocean K Park. The water was cleared, Ocean Rescue flew double red flags, and the beach was shut down for 20 minutes. Caden was at the beach when all this went down. Kind of scary? I mean, yeah, if you're in the water, yeah. Them sharks, I would be nervous about getting bit. The state of Florida holds the record for the highest amount of shark attacks in history at 896. For a little bit of contrast, Hawaii is next at 182. That's a huge decline. Recently, there's been a trio of attacks spread across Florida. A surfer was bitten Sunday by a six-foot shark at New Smyrna Beach. A woman was attacked in the Keys on June 29th, and another in Keaton Beach days later. Caden's friend Jerry says in the Juneau area, it doesn't help that people are putting fish in the water to draw sharks in. He says you have to expect run-ins with sharks. Six years ago, this was not going on as much as the sharks as we do now. I was told by several fishermen and, and the folks that work at the pier that it appears that the sharks are actually following bait fish and so they're moving up and down the coast and they're closer in towards the shore, hence human interaction. In Juneau Beach, Todd Wilson, WPTV News Channel 5.